Today in New Things New Tech, do you have good protection? For your drawing tablet monitor, that is. I'm Scott Dredge from New Things New Tag. This is a set of Ferrito screen protectors. Ferrito, like Dorito, mm -hmm. but less crunchy. This Dorito, uh, this Ferrito, uh, Dorito, this Ferrito, I guess that's how you say it. This Ferrito screen protector will protect your monitor, whereas a Dorito is just a tasty, crunchy snack chip that would probably mess up your monitor, keyboard, intestines, whatever. But seriously, this Ferrito screen protector is for OLED and LCD screens. It says here that it's made from a sheet of pet materials. Would that be cat, iguana, squirrel? Ooh, where? Anyway, this protective screen shield guards against dust, fingerprints, smudges, and scratches. Or at least that's how it reads here. Easy application and removal without any glue residue. Include cleaning cloth, dust removal sticker, and insulation card. But wait, there's more. There's not just one in here, but there's two screen two, protectors in here. Two, That's good, two because we now one. have two Huion drawing tablet monitors, and we'd like to swap out the existing ones for that. So let's unbox this thing and see what we get and install it on the Huion monitor. We're going to unbox the screen protector here. Okay, so inside here we have a bunch of, a couple of screen protectors curled up here. Let's see what all we get. So we have our warranty card. Take a look at these here in just a second here. So inside there, here's a simple application guide. We have some dust absorber sticker removers here. Here's our little card to actually put it down. It looks like it has like a soft surface on it so they don't actually scratch up your surface with the card. Card's in there, like least. And a cleaning cloth, as if I don't have enough of these cleaning cloths now. So in this bag, here is our screen protector. This is that pet material we were talking about, that nice thick pet material. So, for our installation, step one is thoroughly clean the screen area to make it completely dry. Remove the dust with the dust absorber sticker. So the existing screen protector, we'll go ahead and take that off. It's actually starting to get, I haven't been using it that long, it's actually starting to get pretty well coated up. Oh, that does clean up pretty nicely. Look at that. Wow, okay. If I can find an edge, I'll be able to peel this guy off of here. So this is our current screen protector. The new one. Now this monitor should be pretty clean because it's actually been under that screen protector the entire time. I did try drying without the screen protector on it and it's just there's just too much friction on this surface here. I do see a little bit of dust residue on here. Ah. Remove the dust with the dust absorber sticker. Oh I see. So we just go around and stick it if we find any. Like that. To the point where you can't get your sticker off. Sweet! Well, that's going to make more of a mess than anything else. Peel off tab film and align carefully, starting from the bottom and working your way to the top. All right. We can actually see it actually sticking itself down on here. Next is step four. Use the applicator card to squeegee out the bubbles very gently. It doesn't look to be doing a good job of squeegeeing out the bubbles here, does it? So with the existing protection surface on here, I think we can go pretty hard on this to be able to get all these bubbles out. Mm 
once this goes down, it sticks. Right now, I'm seeing a lot of bubbles. I'm also getting a bump here. Maybe we have a bump. There was a little bit of something stuck up underneath there. And then peel off tab two when finished applying. Hmm. I wonder if you're supposed to apply any moisture to this at all. Really gently squeeze out the bubbles, huh? So following the instructions, we've cleaned and prepped the monitor as indicated. I took care to make sure the glossy screen was clean and dust free. Well, at least to the naked eye. Next step is to peel off the red tab from the screen protector's bottom layer. It's also the one labeled as remove this first. This is a side that should stick to the monitor. By the way, don't do this over the monitor like I did or you might drop limp and dust back onto your clean screen. Applying the screen protector to the screen, you'll see a lot of bubbles. I mean, I'm talking a lot of bubbles. So using the supplied squeegee, push out the bubbles and the results in this step just don't look good. Once you're at a stage you think you have it smoothed out as you can get it, then remove the second film, the blue tab layer from the top. Sit back and admire your work. Wow, yeah, this really sucks. With both film layers off and the screen protector adhered, I spent the next half hour trying to get all those little bubbles off that screen. Even go so far as to partially pull back up the screen protector and try again. All that does is create even more bubbles. So once you put this thing down, don't try to take it off. Okay, here's the thing. I've installed screen protectors to iPads before, phones, and even film to window with better success. Since my results here kind of sucked, I decided to clean off the screen protector and try with a film solution, making sure it was as clean as possible. Using the film solution and carefully catching any stray moisture around the edges, I was able to get a much better result in the end. I have both a film solution designed for installing on tablets and a solution for installing on windows to experiment with. Note that in cleaning off the sticky side after drying the screen protector still had the tacky feel so the silicone adhesive is still there. Reinstalled and much better, but still not perfect. Probably because I've done this a few times with the same screen protector. I think if you started from one edge, apply the screen protector and pull the film and squeegee as you go, then you'll get better results on the first pass. The Huion screen protector that you get with the monitor is thick and does soften the image quite a bit. It only adheres at the four corners and works really well for drawing and gives you a nice paper feel when drawing. But it can fall off over time and you need to reapply some double-sided tape or other sticky stuff to keep it attached. Buying a new screen protector from Huion will set you back $40 for the screen protector and $15 for shipping. So keep the one provided clean and treat it well. This Ferrito screen protector is slightly thinner, provides a better clarity, and does have some paper-like feel when drawing and might be a great cheaper alternative if you can get it to adhere with the least amount of bowls and you can live with it. It's only $22 for a set of two screen protectors, so learn from your mistake with the first one. In my retries, cleaning the protector off with screen solution and making sure everything was as clean as possible, I was able to get it to look pretty good, but somehow lint snuck in and had all these little bumps here and everywhere else that I couldn't get out. Would I still recommend this screen protector? I think so, in spite of the fact that I rushed through the install, if you take your time, make sure your work area is as dust-free as possible, I think it will go on smoothly and work well. I still have a second Ferrito one to try, and I will make sure I take my own advice. Thanks for watching New Things New Tech. I'm Scott Dredge.